this video, we will be demonstrating the thermal power plant with steam engine trainer, the TD1050, part of the thermodynamics range from Tech Equipment. This is a laboratory scale steam plant based on the ranking cycle that allows engineering students to learn about the fundamental principles of energy conversion and mechanical power measurement. With this apparatus, you can learn the thermodynamic laws of energy conservation, the steady flow energy equation, perform ranking cycle analysis, the Willens line, and analyze the pressure temperature relationship using Marset boiler. One of the first things you might notice is how compact this unit is at 1 metre long and 0.8 metres wide. We've made it easy to move around by mounting it in a sturdy frame with casters. Let's take a look around the thermal power plant with steam engine trainer. The steam engine that you see here is based on a design by Stewart used in the Firefly generating set used in World War II. This was a unit parachuted into France by the British RAF to generate power for communications to help the French resistance. Now come and take a look at the steam engine in more detail. The totally enclosed crankcase is splash lubricated from its sump. Two con rods, I have one here as an example, are attached to the crankshaft at the bottom and is connected to an overhead piston valve. This is driven by an external connecting link from a vertical shaft turned by a bevel gear at the crankshaft. The steam enters the steam engine chest and pushes this piston valve back and forth where the steam then travels through either of these holes driving the crankshaft. The crankcase has a combined dipstick and filler and two bleed screws that help to divert some of the steam straight down to the water to prevent the steam condensing and collecting in the cylinders when the engine is cold. The steam engine chest has a port that connects to a displacement lubricator that supplies oil to the cylinders. To protect the user from moving parts and hot surfaces, a guard is placed around the engine. On the other side, joined by pipes, is the boiler that connects below to the electric feed pump that fills the boiler from the reservoir at the base of the unit. The water passes through a non-return valve from the pump to the boiler. The boiler itself contains two electric immersion heaters, each with a thermal cutout that protects it from overheating if the water level drops. To protect against overpressure, there is a spring-loaded pressure release valve here. On the top is a large steam cutoff valve, this bit here, that allows you to regulate the steam flow from the boiler to the engine. At the end of the boiler is a glass sight gauge. This is surrounded by a clear safety shield where you can see the level of water in the boiler. This has two valves, an upper and a lower. The two are a precautionary measure should one break and for helping blow down the gauge. The exhaust steam from the engine passes through a condenser, which is the heat exchanger. Cooling water circulates through the heat exchanger, cooling the exhaust steam. The steam condenses and drains out of the connection below the condenser to the condensate collector or to the waste tank next to it. When using the calorimeter here for dryness fraction testing, the outlet steam passes through the condenser. The condenser cools this steam so only water passes down to the waste tank. Behind the steam engine is a brake dynamometer, which is a simple friction brake. The two controls on the dynamometer can be adjusted by pulling a cord against the dynamometer drum, applying a load. A force sensor measures the load applied and a tachometer measures the engine speed. Together, these allow you to calculate the shaft power the steam engine absorbs from the steam flow. On the rear control panel is the torque and display instrument that calculates and displays the engine speed, torque and power. A digital output socket here connects to optional versatile data acquisition system, also known as VDAS. To the front, there is an electrical control cabinet that contains an isolator and individual control switches with an indicator lights for two heater elements and the feed pump. The lights turn off to indicate when the boiler pressure is at peak operating pressure. At the back, there is a watt meter to measure electrical power input to the boiler, plus two board and pressure gauges to show the boiler and engine inlet pressures, with each connecting to an electronic pressure sensor. All these connect to the VDAS socket for more advanced analysis. 
Four thermocouples on the apparatus connect to a separate digital temperature display that fit in the instrument frame, which measure the temperature of the boiler, the calorimeter, cooling water inlet, and the cooling water outlet. The display shows the temperatures and has a digital socket output for connection to VDAS. The upper area is an instrument frame that holds the two digital displays and space for the optional versatile data acquisition system interface hardware. For more information about the thermal power plant with steam engine trainer, click on the links in the description box below. Thank you for watching.